What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So we have a new update rolling out for OnePlus 8 series, which is again based on Android 12, aka Oxygen OS 12. It's a minor update. So in this video, let's find out what all changes OnePlus have done with this new update for OnePlus 8 series. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we have our OnePlus 8, which is currently running on the latest build of Oxygen OS 12. Going to about section here, you can see Android version is Android 12. We still have 5th March 2022 security patch on this build too. Talking about the version, few days back OnePlus rolled out version C.16, which brought fixes to battery drain. And now we have another update, which is version C.17. And before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. Also, we still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And now talking about the benchmark results. So with the Geekbench application, single core have scored 906 and multi core have scored 3127. On the previous update, single core had scored 899 and multi core scores were 3052. Slightly better benchmark results to be seen using Geekbench application. With Antutu benchmark application, on this latest build, OnePlus 8 have scored 6,53,740, though on the previous update scores were 6,56,971. And also we did CPU throttling test, wherein I did notice bit of throttling issues, which you can see here, average gips were quite high and max CPU throttled up to 80%. And if you guys haven't received the OTA update, I'll provide the incremental files in the description below. Use those incremental files only if you're running Oxygen OS 12 C.16 version. After that, you just have to place the file in the internal storage where you can see the update size is only around 90 to 92 MB. Once you do that, you need to install an APK called OnePlus Local Update application. That link is also given in the description below. Later open the APK, tap on this gear icon towards the right top corner and select the file. The installation process might take around 2-3 to three minutes. Once done, you can reboot your device. Now talking about the change logs of this build, as said, it's not a major update. Few minor fixes have been done and the first one is related to sending and receiving messages. So I'm not sure here they're talking about the SMS services or other messaging application. On the previous update, I did notice bit of issues while receiving the text messages. But after updating to this build, I don't find any kind of issues receiving text messages. And the same thing goes with the other applications too like WhatsApp. So as you can see here, we are receiving messages on time without any kind of delays. And this issue is still present which is related to Qualcomm Voice Assist. Soon you update your device, you'll see the notification in the notification panel though it's a silent notification. But to completely disable, you have to turn off notifications from this particular application. Until you do that, you will see this notification in the notification panel. And after that, few system optimizations have been done to improve the overall stability of the device. Till now, no major issues to be found here. But as always, we'll be doing a complete review and I'll update you guys in a review video if I find any kind of major issues on this build. Camera app version remains same, nothing changed here though we'll cover this thing in the review video too. And most users are still confused whether this is an Oxygen OS 12.1 build or it's still based on Oxygen OS 12. So guys, as far as I know, this is still based on Oxygen OS 12 because on Oxygen OS 12.1, we do get the Hyperboost feature, which isn't present on this particular version. Still, if I get any confirmation regarding 12.1, I'll update you guys in the pinned comment. And still we don't get the support of 90 FPS. You can see the graphic settings are set to smooth and 90. But if you enable data monitor feature, we only get to see 60 FPS. So still we don't have 90 FPS official support in games like Battlegrounds Mobile India. So guys, there's nothing much to showcase in this video. This was a quick update on the newer build of Oxygen OS 12 for OnePlus 8 series. If you still have any questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. Or if you want me to cover any specific topic in a review video, that also you guys let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.